Hello, I'm Thomas Harold Watson and in this video I'm going to take you to the UK's coolest temples and in Indian architecture. We're going to start off here at Brighton's Pavilion which is the only royal palace not to be owned by royals. Now unfortunately for me when I visited the building was under restoration. On the site there are multiple different things to see including a concert hall, a museum and the palace. It's called the Royal Pavilion Estate. It's surrounded by really pretty gardens and that's all free to visit. Although to enter the pavilion it was quite a lot of money and the museum wasn't exactly cheap either. Now something very very interesting was the fact that the interior wasn't at all Indian it was instead Oriental. Now sadly you're not allowed to take photos and videos inside but luckily I was able to sneak a couple in. Right, so now I'm at the Hare Krishna temple in Watford. Um, so yeah, it's really, really fascinating. Um, it was paid for by George Harrison from the Beatles. Um, apparently he was a bit reluctant to pay for it. And then as he was talking to the guy about why he was reluctant, a bolt of lightning hit his house. And um, yeah, that, that was the sign telling him to pay. <laughs> um, so yeah, you've got loads of animals around there, you've got geese. I can't tell if that's a real heron or a fake one, probably a fake one. Um, but there's all cows as you drive in. Uh, I think they probably use them for milk, because I've just had milk and nuts upstairs and had the ground tour around. Um, oh, um, had the ground tour around the whole building. It's really, really interesting to see. Um, so, yeah, you've got the temple area um, with my <laughs> friend, the tour guide. Um, so, yeah, really beautiful gardens everywhere, anyway. Um, yeah, all free. Um, so you can leave donations and stuff, which I'll probably do soon. We're going to go check out the cows first. So yeah, here we go. <laughs> There's my buddy from America. <laughs> So free milk and nuts. <laughs> Right, so it turns out we came on the right day. Gotta shake the sticks and check out some dancing. Here we go. Right guys, so I'm now at the Neesden Temple. I've actually been here before when I was about eight years old and it looks amazing. So it's Britain's first authentic Hindu temple and it was completely built with traditional methods and materials. So yeah, check that out though. It's amazing. We've got the elephants all around um, and the architecture on it is just unreal. Um, so yeah, let's go check it out. Wow, um, such a shame you can't film in there or take any photos, but that looks amazing. Um, yeah, there's nothing that I can compare that to at all. Um, it's just beautiful, really, 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 really nice. Um, like every little detail is done, like it's all hand done, no machines used at all. Um, it's all made out of stone, not a single nail in there. Um, just all put together like a big jigsaw puzzle. Um, and the same with this building here, but with this building here, they've actually used wood. Um, and with the woods, they had to use, I think, 226 trees. And to say sorry for that, they planted another 2,300 trees uh, to make up for it. So that is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, just everything about this place is unreal. Um, they've got like elephants, they've got like an outdoor area inside. It's funny. 
Um, but there's little elephants there, uh, all carved out, water features. Um, the only thing that I can really compare it to is probably um, uh, the Alhambra in Granada, that kind of thing. Um, but it's just, yeah, wow. Um, go here. Here. like even if you're not going to go to another religious building in the uk come here <laughs> like this is the best i've been to hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of buildings now uh cathedrals churches <laughs> mosques whatever you name it and this tops them all wow right so i've been in what is possibly the final temple in this video Sri Sanatan Hindu Mandir uh, it's also known as Wembley Temple and it's honestly stunning so whereas the Nisdam one is made with Italian marble this is actually made with like Indian um, oh, what was it limestone and sandstone so yeah it's got more of a like yellowish reddish tint to it again built there no, sorry made there all carved by hand no machinery used all traditional methods it's sent here put together like a jigsaw puzzle um, and yeah no cement no nails nothing um, so just look at that like, honestly I'm gutted that I didn't get here sooner you could have seen it in daylight but yeah I'm telling you you have to come here like my top two easily Neesden and this one um, but this is the biggest surprise because everyone's heard of Neesden but no one's heard of one in Wembley and it's been here for like 12 years now so yeah but they were really welcoming I didn't even like I don't know question why I was there nothing I just came in took my shoes off it was lovely I felt really welcome and they were really really nice as well so make sure you come Now, unfortunately, just like the Neesden one, you're not allowed to take photos and videos here. So just take my word for it, go here. It is unreal how much detail has gone into every little pillar. Every single thing in there is all hand carved. It is beautiful. I cannot believe that it's just so unheard of, this place. I only found it because I drove past it one day. I've never seen any articles on it, no Instagram posts, nothing. Um, so it's definitely a UK hidden gem. Now, if you enjoyed this video, or if you think I missed anything, let me know in the comments below. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, have a very 